Greetings and Selamat Petang, everyone. I am happy to welcome you back to another exciting installment of PetroScience STEM Live. I am Cheryl Shamster, your moderator for this afternoon, and I cannot express enough how excited I am for today. If you are joining us for the first time, I bet you're asking yourselves, what is PetroScience STEM Live? It's okay. It's all right. Without a doubt, it is going to be your favorite monthly digital forum where we get to talk to the experts in the field of STEM, also known as science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, to discuss on the current issues in Malaysia from a STEM point of view and provide information that is relevant, interesting, and of course, beneficial to you. Wherever you are tuning in from, be at home, the gym, the office, or enjoying an afternoon tetare session, or perhaps while on the move, I would like to thank you Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Now, for today, we'll be discussing about the topic with big in Strammer comes big data. For those that are already guessed it, that already guessed it, yes, we are focusing on one of, if not, the biggest photo and video sharing networking, social networking service in the entire world. Since launching on October 2010, Instagram boasts over one billion, yes, you heard that right, 1 billion monthly active users with 100 million photos and videos uploaded every single day. 50% of these users follow at least one business entity and interactions with an Instagram in the form of giving their heart with, a, with their love with a heart, showing interest by commenting and using hashtags. The famous red heart emoji, you know that red heart you see on, on Instagram every time you like something, it was used at least 14 billion times in 2018. Can you imagine? People have got a lot of love to give. <laughs> <laughs> so undoubtedly, Instagram has become a vast marketing tool which has the power to grow not only big brands, but also small brands overnight. So today we will learn how to access the science in terms of the figures, the data, the numbers, and all that stuff, and enable you to develop your brand and help you to make decisions on how you should project yourselves on Instagram. So by implementing data science and through artificial intelligence algorithms, results could provide incredible intel and insights into the dynamics, the, the dynamics of human behavior. So, well, we are in luck today, guys. So to help us further explore on the topic with big Instagrammer comes big data on our forum, I would like to welcome Dr. Afida Lina Tumian and Anwar Afik. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hi, viewers. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here today live this afternoon, guys. Really? Um, yeah, so it is a delight to have you with us this afternoon, uh, Dr. Afi. From what I understand, you are currently the head of data science in facilities of future for Petronas Research Sardar Fahad. Could you probably share with us your background? What do you do? What's the day to day life of Dr. Afi like? Okay, so uh, firstly, I would like to thank our organizer, Petronas, uh, Petro Science, for giving me the opportunity to share the stage uh, with uh, our moderator, Cheryl, and also uh, the Insta famous Anwar. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, uh, I did my undergrad degree uh, in electronics majoring in computer uh, in MMU, Multimedia University. I finished it in 2002. And then after that, I worked for a while at MMU before pursuing my uh, master's in medical imaging in University of Surrey, UK. And then after that, I joined uh, Kuliah of Engineering, uh, International Islamic University of Malaysia um, for two years as a lecturer before again uh, continuing my studies in PhD uh, in University of Oxford. So my thesis was more on bioinformatics. Wow. But actually, the general theme is data science. So um, after that, um, I came back and then um, I worked uh, in uh, IUM for about, uh, I think, until February last year before I joined uh, Petronas Research. How many years was that in IUM? Um, I think around 15 years. Wow. 15, years. Yeah, 15 years. Yeah, yeah. So but that that's, including, uh, that's including my postgraduate study. Ah, interesting. Uh, well, I also understand that you are not only just a data scientist. You're also a dedicated mom to a small family, aren't you? Yeah. And that is something you don't come in here every day, isn't it? Yeah. So does this have to do, um, I was reading up your bio data, does it have to do with your life motto to empower and be empowered? Is that right? 
Yeah, um, I think um, uh, in the world that we are living now, um, it's crucial for us to always empower people, those that are surrounding us, especially those within our circle of influence, uh, my boys and my big boy. <laughs> and then, um, and also um, to, to the people around us. But at the same time, uh, we always empowered, uh, also empowered by the, uh, the, the people around us. So it's always like a cycle, learn, relearn, unlearn. So yeah. that's, that's really nice to know that more and more yeah. people are prevailing in the STEM scene. They're feeling more empowered. They're being less afraid in, 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 in terms of STEM. So you are quite exemplary of that, Dr. Afi, <laughs> besides being both a parent uh, and a data scientist. Um, what is it that you do for fun during your free time? What does a data scientist do for fun? <laughs> Uh, which part? Is it the data science or the hobby? <laughs> is, is data science your hobby as well? <laughs> uh, basically, okay. Uh, I think I can relate to that because I like to watch um, CSI, for example, uh, investigation kind of um, series. Wow. So since small, uh, like all this uh, per, um, detective kind of story, right? So um, that actually instilled me... Um, uh, to further understand about things, how things happen. So, uh, and that actually helps me to develop the skills towards this data science because in order to uh, to derive insight from data, you need to always investigate, improve your method, investigate and so on. So, yeah, somehow. But uh, at the same time, I like to do puzzles. Uh, Lego is my favorite. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so, <laughs> those kind of things that will help me lah, in uh, problem solving. Is that something you also transfer to your kids? A love for Lego? <laughs> yeah, what to do? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's really nice. Um, thanks again, Dr. Afi, for sharing with us a very detailed and interesting overview of yourself. And last but not least, welcome to today's forum, Anwar. Thank we appreciate, you. <laughs> really appreciate you for joining us today, Anwar. Happy it's really yeah. nice to have you here. I'm, I'm a follower of yours actually on Instagram, and I see that you are someone uh, who's really adventurous and family oriented. Could, yeah. you, could you share with us um, what are you up to these days, and are you still actively on TV and social media? Yeah, uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, the, the journey from TV and so on is uh, as right now, uh, I would say I'm a full-time freelancer okay full-time freelancing so um, full -time freelancer. yeah i do a lot of stuff actually uh, while uh but to, to say that i had learned a lot um and it put on me for the be on tv had given me a leverage actually to do a lot of stuff so so people would recognize me on that part and i was hosting tv i started as jijar rasul and then right, right now uh, in Borak Kopitiam TV3 and currently it was on air, it was a travelogue, it was a fully English uh, travelogue, uh, Muslim footsteps on on uh, on RTM and, <laughs> and we went through uh, a lot of things on TV like that but at the same time uh, if I, uh, during the day, like uh, in the evening, I would go for my home tutors that I go teach uh, basic Quran. Uh, I teach children uh -huh. and also some adults also. Uh, so basically, that's uh, what I do on my capability. I do write. I do some writings for uh, productions. Uh, and I see I would, uh, if if Dr. Afi would love Legos and so on, I think I, I would love interactions. You know, I cannot live without interaction, you know. <laughs> Even though it's on, it's, if it's online live, it's cool. It will be fun for me also. And that's why, and because of that, interaction is, is it also helps me to, uh, to, to take care of my family. You know, Staying my, at uh, home during yeah, the yeah, yeah. MPO might have been tough for you since you didn't get to go out oh, much, right? Well, it's not that tough actually because uh, I think it's because uh, according to psychology, there's like this conscience, you know, there's like family conscious, work conscious, so on. So I think I had I had that already family conscious, alhamdulillah, to take care of uh, my wife and my children and inshallah, uh, coming soon, my second child. So it's like... Uh, the MCO had given me an opportunity to be close with them and making the family uh, be, be calm, you know, because during MCO, people are like going like, what's going on? I want to eat this. I want, can, I want to go there. I don't, I don't know what to do. So what is that is going on that I had to be there. I was there and we all were there together and I, I had time to play with my son and make jokes, uh, make my family laugh, and so on. So uh, it's fun. 
you know, and uh, I think that's one of the interactions that I would do during the MCO that I can do, so I would stay sane. <laughs> so that was kind of like a blessing in disguise, isn't it? So yeah, alhamdulillah. There, there's a hikmah, you know, uh, of everything that happens. So it's fun, inshallah. That's beautiful. You said Anwar. So people know you as that social media and television guy. Right. So someone that is in the entertainment industry, but what not many know is that you also have an advanced diploma in medical electronics engineering, right? Yeah. Well, what else is there that most of your followers or after, like right after this, soon to be followers that don't know about Anwar Afik? Well, actually, uh, that's, that's the cool thing, you know. Um, actually, when I entered uh, TV3 uh, hosting for Jijar Rasul, it was through an experience of volunteering. Uh, I volunteered many programs and uh, and I met uh, Fitri Yahya. Fitri Yahya, he's a host uh-huh. from MHI and he introduced me to an audition and and how I could actually be there to be successful in the audition, I think it was also because I was volunteering in PetroScience. I'm also a volunteer for PetroScience. Uh-huh. Uh, and, yeah. and, and to be honest, I, I found my, I think I found my true colors. I grew up in the States uh, when I was younger, and then I came back to Malaysia. And then it, 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 this, the, 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 the system was different, you know? We, uh, we, during the States, we would, uh, we would enjoy the arts, we would enjoy the uh, science, we would enjoy uh, the math and so on. But then coming back to Malaysia, it's like, uh, I'm not saying that I did not enjoy it, but I, to be honest, I did not even score that good, okay? But what happened is when I came to volunteer in Petro Science, subhanAllah, I felt like it was my true colors. My true colors was there, you know? And I do remember until today, I was uh, during the uh, the volunteers uh, training. I forgot what's the name. It was a, vo- it was a training session. It was like for about two or one week. I was the best volunteer to end uh, that, that session. I it was like oh, the wow. volunteers orientation program yeah vop (laughs) Uh, VOP. yeah i I was the best uh volunteer Uh, and i think i was you were the best volunteer wow Uh, i think it was because i had a loud mouth (laughs) (laughs) does that help with you being on tv now (laughs) well uh being on tv keeps it uh calm be steady okay (laughs) Okay. Uh, talk uh, talk when you need to talk like that it, it, it been lots of things i enjoyed and it, it, it in, in petro science it helped me to uh feel confident on what i can be able to do well yeah so guys like anwar said if you guys didn't know anwar afik was once a volunteer right here <laughs> at petro science can you believe that and i mean anwar did you ever imagine yourself returning someday actually sharing your expertise and experiences in this way today <laughs> No, no, this is such an honor actually because uh, I believe this is also my, my third project, uh, fourth project for STEM, especially mm-hmm. for STEM. And when we're talking about STEM, it, it's very big. And for me to be invited by Petro Science to talk about science, technology, English, and mathematics, and as for me, that is not uh, a professional like Dr. Afi is an honor so much. So I, I'm so grateful that this is a this is my circle, my life. That I that uh, it would be something to be useful for my next generation, my children, and my family. Well, great. It's we're happy to welcome you back, Anwar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's move on to the questions, shall we? Yeah. All right. So. Um, Anwar, when I asked earlier, uh, you did mention you are still very, very active on social media, more so on Instagram, aren't you? Um, could you tell us what is the impact social media has to you? Um, do you prefer having more followers or more views? You set targets, actually, like on top of your mind, you have a target on how many followers you set out the gain every single time. And maybe you could probably share a little bit of details how you aim on achieving it. Okay. Uh- <laughs> Talking about social media, uh, at first when I was uh, single, uh, being a single guy, uh, working through being on, on, uh, not to say an influencer at that time, I think it was on uh, TV hosting. Um, Yes, the the attention was there, you know, when it was Ramadan, Jijar Rasul, okay, suddenly the followers would build up and then people will come actually ask some questions, you know, and sometimes people will ask about questions about religion because Jijar Rasul is like very powerful, you know, to say, and then at that time I would actually show uh, 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 
uh, introduce how actually you can recite the Quran. I could talk to the, the people and a little bit of Arabic uh, words and some, something like that, etc. And then uh, people came to that uh, attention. So, um, but now, I'm a family man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like uh, my my reality is the is the true thing. You know, I cannot actually sit down calmly to put a post uh, or edit something without having my son like, Habi, Habi, you know. And the life just walked right straight yeah, in. Yeah, it's like that's the true thing. So what do I have to do is actually I have to be with him. And including with my wife, uh, I have to do my priorities with my family, you know, uh, because my wife is, uh, as I said, uh, she's pregnant right now and it's almost... Congratulations. Beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, thank you. And by, by seeing that, it's like that is the true thing. But I'm not saying that I have neglected uh, totally because I've earned a uh, few jobs through uh, my Instagram because it would say that that is the profile. You know, sometimes, to, not sometimes, it's today. Today, people will go to your profile to ask, oh, I'm Rafael, uh, um, let, let's, let's Google him up. No, the people don't Google it up. They go to Instagram and find uh, his Instagram, and then they would see what are his posts. You know, oh, he has been there, but did that, then this, doing this, and do that, and so on, so on, etc. And then they would also see uh, the followers, how many followers, and see how many viewers, engagement, and actually that is very important for me uh, because that's how it's it's actually. Not to say, not by saying that I have just about 29k. That's so small, actually. Wow, that's uh, so uh, small. <laughs> but it's still small because we, nowadays we just like uh, people would just go. Imagine uh, I went to a school before and the children would go just ask, uh, Abang Bapa Follower eh, on Instagram? What? And I just said uh, 29k and I said, Oh, sikit je. Really? Goodness. <laughs> Where are you guys from, man? Oh, they would go like that, man. They would just go like, uh, she can't, and I'm like, mm, yeah, she can't sound that. <laughs> but anyway, it is something that uh, it, uh, be a reference for people today to have endorsements, to make uh, product placements, and so on for us. And and how is it that encountered is actually not just by followers because not if 29K followers and you get 29K uh, jobs, that something would be very good, right? right? But actually, you don't get that much. So, uh, but then for viewers, uh, if you put a post, you don't get 29,000 viewers every time. That's and right. especially for me, have has I have been going through uh, the life of uh, being a husband, a father, my algorithm on Instagram has totally changed. It has totally changed. If I put myself on Instagram, they would just be like one or two likes. But if I put my wife and my son together on that one picture, it would be like suddenly, oh, hundreds likes. And so I'm like, <laughs> what is going on? Why? Why? And, and, and I guess it's something because it, uh, again, this kind of thing, it shows of the behavior. People enjoy the personal life of someone. You know, they want to know, oh, Sharo, so cute. He loves this, that. You love cats. Isn't it? I heard that. You love cats. Oh, no, <laughs> you're outing with me. <laughs> you know, yes, but, 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 but it's something like that. And, and I believe, Dr. Afi, also, if you put uh, your family, uh, it would also be something for people to love, to, to be uh, having the attention. And so that is like... I, I'm not putting that as my, uh, what you call it, a skill or uh, my strategy to mm -hmm. gain more viewers or, or uh, view uh, uh, followers because uh, there is there's a point that Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, he mentioned. He's an entrepreneurship on social media. He had mentioned that actually, you will be stressed out if you are focusing on followers and viewers. You will be you will burn out. You by wow. focusing that you put this post, Allah she can your viewers, Allah follows that night put stressed out for nothing. You know, you're because you, if you're that if that's your target and you forgot your craft, you mm -hmm. didn't focus on your content, you did not focus on your craft, uh, then you will lose actually. So, one of the things is actually, uh, for now, uh, I'm on another stage by saying that I have to understand what is. I'm capable to deliver at my situation as a father. Sorry? Have you, frankly, have you ever felt that sort of anxiety before 
um, and probably when you're starting out, like, like, oh, I don't have enough followers. I'm not getting enough likes. Have you ever gone through that before this? I am having it now, actually. Mm. I am having it now because I'm, I, I'm questioning myself because at this, at this time, you, I have to figure out how to take care of my family. You know, I have to figure out that uh, am I relevant in the industry to be still invited to be hosting this program? Am I still relevant to be an MC uh, to teach or be someone that is on the public's uh, radar? Uh, and right. that is that is that is the data that I would be very concerned because I have to figure out how to to give to provide my family. You know, that is one part. But Alhamdulillah, my wife encourages me to be calm, relax, because Hasbunallah and my Rakeel, everything will be Allah to which could be. Everything is from Allah. You know, so that's right. it. Very well put, Anwar. Thank you so much. Um, well, Dr. Afi, coming to you as a data scientist, how frequent do you actually deal with big data in your daily life. Can you tell us a little bit about big data in the most simplest terms? For someone like me, how would you okay. explain big data? All right, sure. So as a data scientist, I deal with data most of the time, right? Uh, like every day I will be doing coding to analyze something and uh, carry out some analysis and so on. But uh, so um, in a simpler um, explanation, so actually big data can be categorized uh, into four uh, Vs. Yeah. So the first V is volume. So it means that the scale of the data uh, that you are dealing with. So it is actually estimated that 2.5 quintillion. So 2.5 quintillion, eh? not billion, not million, trillion, quintillion bytes of uh, data are generated uh, every day globally. How do you call ah, quintillion? So quintillion? Quintillion is actually uh, 10 to the power of 18. So there's like so 18 zeros. Yeah, billion of billion. <laughs> Uh, so, um, so, so, you can imagine, uh, so you can imagine how much, uh, um, I mean, the, in terms of data management is uh, being uh, dealt here, uh, if we look at Instagram, yeah, mm. because uh, people are sharing uh, photos, videos and so on. So the second V is variety. So it's it actually means the type of data. So you have text, you have images, videos, voices, uh, reports consists of text also, but that is the general type of data. Lah. Right. So the third one is velocity. So it, uh, it implies the speed of data transferred from one place to another. So um, like uh, you need to have a huge speed um, uh, facility in order to uh, transmit your data, right? Uh, videos and so on. So the last one is veracity. Uh, so it deals with the quality and accuracy of data because um, you, with the whole data, uh, data, huge amount of data that we are dealing with, the quality and the accuracy is uh, also important factor. Wow. So, uh, so when we, we deal with big data, it's, actually, it's not only about all this data mm -hmm. coming together. Mm -hmm. it, it also deals with uh, infrastructure uh, that, uh, that manage the data, data security that mm -hmm. secure the data uh, and how you actually in the end do analytics uh, for better uh, information making. Wow. Um, so that's a lot. Anywhere I go, yeah, that is huge, right? That's quintillion big. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. So everywhere I go, if anybody yeah. asks me about big data, I should yeah. remind them about the three Vs, isn't it? Four. Four Vs, sorry. The four, four Vs. Vs. Verocity, volume. Ver velocity, velocity, veracity, volume, volume, and variety. Variety. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Who came up with these four Vs? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, big data is already there long time ago. Especially ah. with, uh, uh, when I did my PhD, actually, I've already dealt with um, big, big data because I, I was involved in human genome project. Uh, human genetics project, basically, yeah. when they have sequenced uh, our uh, DNA, human DNA sequence. Wait, when you're talking about genome, you're talking about things that's inside me right yeah yeah dna uh-uh so actually um i think 
already the, those time uh, we, we have big data already but it's just that um, as we uh, as time goes by they want to further give characteristics to what actually uh, enables big data do you plug in like a USB drive if I know about my genome? <laughs> we have to sequence it plug uh, I mean bring our uh, what uh, blood out and then try to, have to go it into the lab yeah. for that yeah. Is that yeah like for that yes they have the machine wow. instrument instrumentations right yes I always thought I always thought big data is just numbers on a computer <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. but it's more than that isn't it yeah, yeah it's it more than yeah. that all right cool um so um now I am less afraid of big data thank you so much doctor <laughs> I'm I, I can sleep easy now <laughs> so it isn't something to be afraid of and it's actually relatively quite fun isn't it and it's, it's easy to understand and and it's just something that you could just chit chat about at, uh, uh, at, at the mama with your friends right <laughs> well it'll be it'll be a great discussion eh? talking about numbers like that eh? doctor <laughs> Playing yeah, at yeah, the mama table. Uh, <laughs> I extracted a genome the other day. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, and we're talking about fear. It, it, it's it's something you are forced to utilize as a social media influencer, right? Big data. Yeah. It's something that you have to. There's nothing. There's no avoiding it, isn't it? So could you could you tell us like why do you know about data, big data, and and how do you think big data helps you actually increase followers more so your engagement, your likes, your reach? Uh, how does it help? Well, um, it, it's something that uh, recently that I actually had across uh, by being studying about big data because we, we got prepared for this one. Big data it was something that I think uh, most of the people are saying this is the in thing today, right? The big data is the in thing today. And, and seeing that um, what I can say more about big data is like how amazing it can make our uh, minds evolve uh, with the analysis, you know, because of with the analysis that we have, our minds will be creative, you know, because, for example, like uh, sales and gro uh, in groceries, like uh, if you were to have a product on sale, you wouldn't actually put it on the shelf be being on the aisle. You would actually put it up front. This is the, this is the, for example, I'll just give an example, like how I, I would I, I imagine how big data would be like this, for example, like sales. So if it's on sale, you put it up front. You want to make it more sales profitable, and then you not you don't just put that one product. You put it with other products that aren't sale, and thus it's not just that. You would actually put another kind of product that is not on sale because you already have a pull factor over there. That's how I think. That's how it is. That how big data would actually provide us by through analysis that it helps us to understand the behavioral uh, factor of people. And just because of that example of behavior, for another example that you say that if you were to say uh, you have chocolate chip cookies that is on sale, and uh, you, but people would actually go for crackers. Why? Because during the MCO. People want to take care of their diet, but they want to sit down, watch TV, and eat their crackers with kopi o and teh tari. And that's why. Because suddenly, eh, aku buat seal to uh, biskut coklat, tapi orang suka crackers about the MCO. It's the, it the behavior at that time. I'm just giving an example. I don't know. Lah. Maybe people like to eat chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that that is one of it. And... Uh, but for me, as a social media, uh, we also react towards the insights you know uh, of our posts like uh, if i were to put um uh, like simple stuff it was that long time ago but today we would actually find that they would like to see more designs more colors photography video videography you know all those kind of angles of new styles development of being posted to engage people to have that intention and tolak ke tepi lah yang kalau video video viral play play again of course right we, we but of course that will also uh, encourage that attention and that data but uh, on the matter of that it's like uh, we are getting more creative uh, because of the big data and and i believe that um it's something that it's so amazing to see that if if I were to be on social media, I would I would have to put more effort to do uh, those tools because on on social media, if you understand that 
uh, we uh, for Instagram, for example, you have the privilege to have tools to use. You can actually use that Insta story that you can swipe up. Uh, if you have ten thousand K followers uh, above, you can have that tool to swipe up. You can have uh, page ship. Uh, what you call that? Page ship uh, partnership on uh, on Instagram. You can have uh, other parts on. Uh, on other tools, you have insights. You can see what time, you, where your followers are, how, what age. You can see um, what else. Uh, what what sh what post has the much more engagement? What is more shared? What is more uh, saved? And and those are so so. Uh, many things and and I was just talking about food and it was like be talking about social media influencers it's like wow it's like big data is so big but the thing is food will not influence change of people but people will influence the change of food I think so because suddenly did you bubble bubble what do you call that Yo, shout out I can't hear you man hey, can I, something wrong uh, Cheryl? Cheryl? It's okay. I think I'll just, uh, I'll just continue. It's okay. Okay. Uh, but uh, talking about that, um, uh, what was I? Okay, like like food or something. Because like suddenly the what's up the bubble tea, uh, people will actually love be bubble tea, and then suddenly it changes, influences the food to okay. Let's everybody do a bubble tea, so everybody will go come to me, and that that's what happened lah. And 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 as the influencers, I believe uh, posts will actually influence anybody depending of their talent, of the influencer's talent, uh, their creativity, uh, their activity, their level of knowledge, and etc. And influencers promote um, and make product placement and so on, endorsement and so on. And yet again, uh, it's very important because it's kind of sad to say, for me, uh, today we would see the data would show the behavior of our, our society that it would say that the professionals uh, on social media are actually underrated. You know, not many people would want to go towards uh, a professional uh, account. Not many. And not and we can see there's no there's not big engagement that is uh is uh to to gain not enough engagement on this kind of platform so it actually that's part of sad the thing but yet again i for me big, big data is something very cool because it actually makes us to understand and uh what is the problem and maybe we can solve it and, and so on I hope that I'm saying correct, uh, Dr. Rafi, because it's all about big data, and that's your thing. And because, it, of, of course, it's something we can actually solve a problem, we can analyze, and so on, etc. Shadow, I can't hear you, man. Dr. Rafi, can, yeah. can you hear me? Can you hear Dr. No, no, we, I, we can't hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you, Shadow. We have missing data of your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Still cannot hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you. It's not muted, right? It doesn't see any muted. muted. Coming back. It is back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was a little bit of a technical glitch. Okay. Just my main man, the production okay. guy called Z. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, round of applause for him. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much. As I said, if Anwar Afik said that big data is cool, it must be cool, isn't it? Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, to our viewers at home, if you have any questions, please, 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 if you'd like to ask Anwar Afik and Dr. Afidalina regarding today's topic with big, with big Instagrammer comes big data. If you'd like to ask your questions, please put it down in the comment section. For our YouTube viewers, we would appreciate you if you could include your email address at the same time. So we'll try our best to go through all the questions. 
but that's also not all. We will also be randomly selecting two winners among those who've submitted the questions. How incredible that you're gonna win something. So they will win exclusive Petra Science and Petronas Twin Towers merchandise. Ooh. Oh boy. Oof. I, I want I want to could I send a question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, could I ask Dr. Afi? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really uh, uh that's good guys. All right. So just a moment ago, um yeah. Dr. Afi, Anwar actually highlighted about being genuine with your content on social media and how it could actually consume you if you if you don't really know what you want from it. You can go up really fast and you can also fall back down to earth really hard. So Dr. Afi, can you share with us what kind of value or addition does big data offer to Instagram? What data innovation does Instagram actually use? Dr. Afi? Sorry? Dr. Afi? Okay, yeah, I think something wrong with my connection. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, guys. No <laughs> technical glitch. We're having no worries. big data. No worries. Uh, this is this is online. This happens. Okay. This is yeah. this is yeah. live. This is proof. We're doing live. It's not recording. We're doing it live, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you see my hand moving? <laughs> okay, yes. So, what was the question? So yes, Doctor Afi. Uh, as let me rephrase myself. Um, a moment ago, uh, Anwar highlighted about being genuine with your content on social media. Uh, and, and sometimes it could also consume you if you go too far deep into it. Mm. It could make you go up really fast it can, and it can make you hit back down to earth really, really hard. And that is really something uh, that's happening more and more these days. But Dr. Epi, can you actually share with us what kind of value or addition does big data offer uh, to Instagram? What, what, does, uh, what data innovation does Instagram actually use? Mm. Okay, uh, so if we look at uh, a little bit uh, from historical point of view, actually Instagram was founded in 2010 by two guys named Kevin Sistrom and uh, Mike Krieger in uh, San Francisco. Uh, so it's in 2010, so if now we're 2020, so we can imagine like, how much things has progressed. And they actually, they started uh, actually solely for photo sharing. Mm. Uh, so it's purely for photo sharing because I uh, I think maybe from that time they see a gap, right? So they want to uh, further um, utilize the, the gap that they identify. So they started uh, from Apple and then after that, uh, uh, two years later on Android. Right. So we can imagine, uh, and then after that, after being bought by uh, Facebook, we can imagine like how much actually they 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 uh, they utilize the data uh, in order to provide services. Mm. Because um, uh, yeah, so if we refer to actually to their term of use uh, on their website, right. um, one of the things that um, that uh, interest interest make me interested is actually Instagram's um, offers personalized opportunities to create, connect, communicate, discover, and share. Wow. Okay, this might be like a very simple uh, aim or service, but actually from the point of view, uh, from data science point of view, so um, so each person will have their data, right? Uh, the post that they have, uh, the tag that they, they, they provided on the post, and then what else? Uh, the hashtag, yes. um, the caption, so and across all posts so all from all of this data the instagram can further cluster um from all of the users mm -hmm. into uh, groups yes. that have specific criteria right. so um so from there um when you know that okay this cluster of people they have this certain criteria mm -hmm. and they like these certain things so they can recommend this 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 uh, so there comes this um, recommendation engine, which right. is built, uh, behind um, uh, uh, behind the, the, the service. Uh, so that's one thing. And then secondly, of course, um, with the, the 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 number of users that actually use Instagram, that will be a great uh, platform for marketing analytics. Uh, so that's why I think they also provide the targeted uh, marketing uh, for those who would like to 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 what to be part of them. Yeah, like, just uh, what you also call um, the algorithm. You know, that is the, that's the word people throw around these days. 
there's an yeah. algorithm to it. <laughs> so actually, algorithm, uh, in a simple words, is just a step or step. How step you do step, so. ah, step by step. Uh, how do you do things? <laughs> but it's the machine learning, is the AI that actually utilizes all this data, uh, to help them to deliver the services uh -huh. that they pledge. Ah, so that one, the first one is actually I highlighted about the personalized opportunities, right? Uh, mm -hmm. to, to create connect. So um, so it's okay. Maybe to relate back to what Anwar mentioned just now. Uh, mm -hmm. so he, he when he posts uh his uh about himself then it's not um doesn't have much like compared to when he's with Good, family yeah, no, no. yeah so i think <laughs> it's because uh, the followers grow with him uh -huh. Ah, so it's so it's like you you are also having your own cluster. Mm -hmm. Ah, so that's why. Okay, I know much about Anwar. I I want to know more about him, oh. family. Well, yeah, okay. So the followers so, are not just following just based on the likes, no, but also no. following ah. a journey, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, journey. Because I think people now um we want to see real people right uh, yeah. and then uh that also relate to my second point which is um under instagram service they also um would like to foster a positive inclusive and safe environment yeah. so uh so so behind the, the 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 machine i mean the engine that they have so actually they, they remove um fake accounts uh fake right. messages so a lot of things is done to achieve that aim uh, it might be simple aim but actually a lot of things are, uh, are carried out wow. so those are actually some of uh, some of the things that they do um, mm -hmm. to filter spam to in order to fight cyberbullying by actually using um, technology yep. wow that's amazing how instagram works I, you only think instagram is just sharing videos photos of cute cats <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. sharing photos of food but it's actually more than that. It works in mysterious that. ways. But it's nice how you put it. It's just an algorithm is more of just a step by step, isn't it? Cool. Yeah. Yes. yes. So I, I love cats, like Anwar mentioned earlier. <laughs> 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 and that's what I normally find on the Explorers page. <laughs> I wonder what is on your, your Explorers page. And I understand that everybody's Explorer page is different, isn't it, guys? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think previously um, they have sort of like historical um, feats, right? Like mm -hmm. from the earliest until latest. Uh, it used or to be. Later, okay, uh, but recently yeah. they, they like revamp it uh, to the ones that we always like. Or, That's right. You know, ah, it used so to be the, in um, in an order, like uh, yeah. whichever post comes uh, uh, up next, it's, it's, it's there. But then now it's more on what you like. You're right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Instagram analytics analytics go goes beyond which posts gets the most likes or comments. Actually, they, they they look at a much broader picture of your account's overall health and can help you analyze your audience's demographics, behaviors, and patterns. is the best way to make informed decisions and adjustments to your content strategy. As an Instagrammer, Anwar, Yo. are you aware <laughs> about this? And and has this benefited you in like any way? Yes, um, definitely because of um, having followers and so on. But actually, not to say that only Instagram, if you have some key followers, you can actually have the tools. But if you have uh, a Facebook page and you have uh, a YouTube channel by yourself, you would actually have the opportunity to use these tools you can have the insights on knowing on on how to actually make the right post on uh getting that engagement but the thing is the question is is it that is it just uh for that engagement mm -hmm. or is it actually to beneficial or make that post benefit you know beneficial for actually this is to make the use of my post that everybody would actually have the biggest uh, opportunity to be there to have the attention on that post and that is for me i would say it works on that uh, on those two parts because mm -hmm. it would actually be uh, beneficial on those things and and definitely of course it's also on how the content is actually made uh, if you were just to be putting something that is um, uh entertainment okay what kind of entertainment would people would love some, mm -hmm. some do cover songs some uh actually win from making that cover songs some right. are, are some are very talented but they are actually underrated some are actually are just uh, normal but they're actually being lifted up and, and being 
given so many opportunities. But okay, but that that part to to say that is, I would say that is risky. You know, they have mm -hmm. their own ways. Their own ways is actually being consistent, and I believe it's also a strategy to actually be niche, or they are actually reaching out more. Sometimes people would just actually just drop their content and put it on Instagram. I'm done. I'm I'm good. I do not need any like you know engagement with uh, a production team, mm -hmm. anything outside. I'm just cool. I'm just because I got my own life, you know, a reality. I'm just putting my hobby on the social media. It's like your own diary, isn't it? Yeah, but, but some are actually looking forward that using these tools to actually make benefit to make them business, to make it more beneficial for them. And as uh, as I said uh, before this uh, and uh, those data. Like uh, mm -hmm. doing those stuff is actually reference, and it mm -hmm. is because I think on Nilofa, uh, we're just we're selling. Uh, how about these celebrities that are so big? Okay, yes. if they make uh, Insta Instagram uh, story posts, mm -hmm. uh, just by story, they would actually have their own rate of charges. Uh, and wow! If you, really? If you, yeah. If you put if if they would actually put a post uh, for a product uh, endorsement or uh -huh, a product uh -huh. placement and so on, it would yeah. also actually have a charge by themselves because of what they have their reference. This is the part that I would actually offer to my clients. If if by saying that if that celebrity wants to find additional income, you know they will they will use their uh, uh, social media account and they would use those tools as a reference and to show because uh, one of my friends uh, uh, Izhar Dang Izhar he, he's uh -huh. one of my best uh, friends he's also a digital marketer he 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 actually shared that he uh, went through a phase that he uh, paid uh, an international. Uh, website to actually evaluate his own account to see how much should I charge on a person that wants to do endorsement on me. And through that, he paid the, the, the international website to work on evaluation. It would be a reference to say, oh, I need to say, I need to say, Jadi saya bukan my main. I'm not putting the the charges as I like. It's actually mm. according to the data that has already been provided and is made by professionals that I already uh, made it. And it's something very cool. And it and it's 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 very uh, useful for anybody actually. It's not just by saying that if uh, just by 10k followers, but even my wife has not even 10k, but she has more engagement than me. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I, I, I believe it is because of how she had put it, her content uh, perfectly. She always gives advices. People come to her to see what is that she writes about, you know, especially on women. I believe, I don't know the data, I believe more women are on social media than men. Well, mm -hmm. well, I love, but I believe, uh, well, Dr. Well, Effie, might you know that? <laughs> <laughs> we got to check on that. But the thing is, yeah, people go there and then they need something that it would be inspiring. So they go to women's uh, the friends that would be inspiring. And and also, uh, th that's how it is. You know, I, and I'm aware of it. But the thing is, I haven't used it, uh, used it much yet because, again, I'm focusing on my family, but this is what the things that I have already am aware of. Uh, I'm just waiting the the best time to break through. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm pretty sure that moment will come sooner or later. Anwar. I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's a really interesting perspective that you have of um, social media itself and how different users, no matter if you have a million followers compared to someone who just has hundred true friends that actually loves every single thing that you post yeah. out right because mm -hmm. imagine imagine like this Shadow, just to put it on uh, like if you have one million followers are you actually having one million doctorate professional phd holders following you or are you having another i'm not okay uh, not only like, i'm not uh, putting categorize i'm not categorizing people but uh -huh. this is the fact this is the data what that we are having today are you actually receiving uh, engagement attention from uh big businessmen or professionals mm -hmm. or or actually are they are, are they these people or professionals uh, or doctors are they on social media that's a good that's one question and, or actually we are just followed by people who are making fake accounts or people are distressed about or, or people are doing something 
something wrong or uh, choosing their accounts to just be uh, what's called it keyboard warriors or so on. So these mm-hmm. are the things that are actually data that also uh, Dr. Afia mentioned about the safety. Uh, Instagram already created that kind of system. Now mm-hmm. we can also block people, uh, toxic people. We can block. I hate blocking out those I haters. Block yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that the, just that's the additional thing, you know. Interesting. Um, Dr. Afi, can you share us uh, specifically uh, in, a, in a situation where big data has helped you and your organization? For instance, currently with big data, can, can we tell and overcome problems before it happens? And in your eyes, what is next for big data? Okay, um, as we know, uh, Petronas is embarking into a digi- digitization era. So it means that um, uh, we are we are leveraging data uh, for better informed decision meaning that you we utilize data to make um, uh, as a justification or as an evidence to make better decision not just making decision based on your intuition or you know your your own feeling so um the the, the challenges are actually in further consolidating um, the people and also the data themselves to be on the same page on the same platform so those are some of the things that uh, normally um, uh, data scientists like us uh, uh, will have to uh, face. Uh, so one of the things that I do um, is uh, on overcoming a problem is actually predictive maintenance. So this is a, a problem that uh, we would like to, uh, that we normally um, face in oil and gas industry. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. So at older sites like brownfield mm-hmm. uh, areas, so our machines and our equipments have been operated for quite some time. So, um, so it's it's normally subject for uh, maintenance or you know uh, maybe subject for failures. So we have to actually monitor how their performance over time. Mm-hmm. So uh, the, the 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 task that I'm I'm working on uh, currently is actually looking at their sensor data that mm-hmm. collects data um, every five minutes, for example, and then we look at the trend for some years, and then uh, by looking at it from many parameters that they have collapse into few important parameters, we are able to actually uh, postulate or predict that when is actually the next um, uh, maintenance to happen. Oh. Yeah. Ah, oh. so through ah uh, yeah, so through uh, further statistical modeling and also some uh, machine learning algorithms, we are able to actually um, give that prediction. Yes, even uh, the time to failure, for example. So uh, at least uh, in this case, we we can plan ahead uh, before it actually happens. Right. So uh, yeah, so you you asked about what's next for big data. Yes, right? what's next? Oh. What in your in yeah. your eyes? What you yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think um the uh, okay. So now normally that's okay. The data. Uh, so now the challenges is to bring them together, and normally um uh, it's it's only utilized by um uh, uh what businesses, organizations, uh working place, and so on. But I I believe that um people like all of you like you know normal people will also in the end in future utilizes this data to actually help you to make uh, plans for example mm-hmm. for your future for your future what undertakings for your future uh, plans for example right so it's more towards a public friendly kind of uh, thing lah yeah uh, all right. Very, very. I believe, doctor, there will be actually like a sometime uh, a kind kind of like a intermediate thing that will be actually a middle man thing, you know, to address those things, right? Yeah, yeah. I like to yeah. volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> I like wow, to you're, you're willing help. to be a guinea pig. <laughs> I, I would like to like help people to understand the big data thing. You know, the data would actually how could it actually help us? You know, because yeah. uh, it, it's very interesting math. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> sorry <laughs> but actually it's powerful right I man yeah. uh, you don't have to do coding basically in order to use big data right mm. so you, uh, there are actually a lot of tools uh, that is actually available uh, to further utilize the data but how we actually make it simpler to the public 
mm-hmm. uh, that is the 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 the, the, the challenge uh, yeah, ahead. Yeah, because yeah. An, 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 kita, uh, tanpa disadari, kan? Uh, what is it tanpa disadari bahasa Inggeris? <laughs> we, we actually know that mathematics would actually be involved in psychology, kan? Okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's like behavior, the trends, the patterns. It's actually okay. involved. It is also. I don't think it's just because of human beings. I think it will be also about the climate and also mm-hmm. the mechanical things or machines. Everything is involved. You know, I can see numbers that you're here, Sharon. You know, they're like popping up. You know, something. You say, Bila nak kawin? Something oh like boy. <laughs> You guys are pressuring me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I can see that big data also plays an important role. No matter in not just in the oil and gas industry, it's also important in your daily lives, isn't it? True. Yeah. And what else I also find interesting about this is that human touch will always exist within big data, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's not just, I mean, when people think about big data, it's full of automation, computers. It's, it's, it's more than that. So yeah. it's really cool. So um, thank you so much, Dr. Afi, for sharing your unique predictions of how far big data will go. Um, as we said earlier, there's going to be two questions. But um, I think our team has decided to, because uh, we're running out of time, but I have, uh, I have one question uh, uh, for 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 uh, I have one question for uh, Anwar. Uh, yeah. Did you do you post regularly on 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 your own social media? No, no man, no man. Because uh, <laughs> again, it's like because uh, at this kind of time, I'm actually really focused on my family. Mm-hmm. Um, I try to focus on posting, but it will be basically on promoting what I can do. And I have I have so many plans. I have told my wife I have so many plans that I uh, to create content because the ability of me making. If you have seen some videos that I edited by myself, and I have my uh, YouTube channel and so on, I edit them. I put my voice over. It shows that. For me, I would say I have the potential to actually uh, go far in what I can do. But the thing is, my reality, my son, my second uh, child coming up, and my wife, it is something that is much more important for me right now. I'm not saying that I'm comfortable without uh, doing anything on social media, but it has to be uh, right now, this situation, I have to uh-huh. actually put my family at this first. Let me uh-huh. and, but that's my condition. Uh, but but just to share, Sharul, if, if yes. I think that the, we have good questions uh, actually on Facebook. Um, I, I, Is there something I, that yeah, you'd uh, like to pick up uh, from there? I think Dr. Afi would also uh, like to ask, answer this because this is from Zahir Abdul Aziz. I think sure. Zahir is like my my friend. I think Zahir is from. So, so, <laughs> but, but he he said both panel were touching on behavior of netizen in order to pull certain topics. What exactly influenced this behavior? And he said that is it that we can identify what is the behavior of virality, what is coming next, and so on. Is it is it that uh, to Am I asking Dr. Afi? <laughs> is it that Dr. Afi, can we actually, through these data, we can actually identify what's coming viral next? Is it something? Yes, I think uh, through um, through words, for example, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Because maybe there's a tendency that from the words that we viral, so it's from natural, okay, there's a technique called natural language processing. Okay, uh, right. So that is the way we actually able to predict uh, what's the next uh, thing that might happen uh, in future? Maybe things might not happen now, but through the vast um, what collection of data that we have, it is possible to actually identify, even though maybe it's not happening now, for example, right? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Uh, through the trends, through mm-hmm. the, ev- the, the evolution of um, the user's uh, data, uh, from the things, basically from the things that you learn, using the the data uh, shared by Instagram users. So I believe that it is possible that we can anticipate, okay, maybe this is the topic uh, viral, the, the next topic to be viral. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Like we're making like uh, predictions, forecasting that what can be coming up next. Yeah. Yo, yes, yes, it- yes. This is something cool. This is this. That's the math, man. Shadow, you gotta love math, man. 
uh, you gotta love math, okay? And, and, th and there's also another question. Uh, sorry, man, I'm because uh, I'm, I'm actually opening Facebook while we're doing live, so I, I like to just. Uh, Dude, time. you're yeah. supposed to be with us right now, right here, man. Th this, Get back the, here. This is the influencer's style, you know. You gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be like that, you know, because uh, I'm focus, opening. Focus. I'm, I'm, while we're talking, I'm actually checking out those who are actually asking questions, and they are, this is Han Ara. She said, "How do you think in what way social media has contributed to our country development and teenage behavior?" This is something big, and I would say that um, social media really has contributed so many things because even ministries have already put up their own Instagram account. Even Petro Science, we have Insta Petro Science. We have put it out all the social media. We have uh, all the content that we have now into a digital platform to so make right. to people to to uh, be learning. But again, to to see development of the teenage behavior. Wallahu alam. <laughs> I, think, I think I think okay. If I were to add uh, to that, I think the key word here is personalized. Personalized. The key word here is personalized. Uh, personalized. So, um, uh, so as we understand the the clusters of people just now, right? Like mm -hmm. I mentioned. That's right. So, uh, so they, uh, so we can actually have programs to to get target this kind of people. So in a way, um, I think uh, the ministries or the organization in our in our country is using this information mm -hmm. to further target. Uh, mm -hmm. the uh, strategies. Yeah. It's really nice to see yeah. that uh, even the formal organizations now, like the, 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 the government and uh, ministries, mm -hmm. they're all doing a different approach now, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. much more fun, much more mm -hmm. lightweight. Mm -hmm. And it yes. gives us uh, more opportunity of work, actually. Uh, you know, that people now suddenly we have this kind of digital platform on we have we need to have another course you know you know communication but you know on using digital platform thing and then it requires more opportunities for jobs you know and yes. again uh i'm not i'm not being like sarcastic but actually for the behavior of us the teenage behavior and so on it is something that uh digital platform is also uh another tool of communication mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it has to be in uh, engaging and also about we cannot deny that entertainment today is something that everybody wants because that's right. you know because that that's creating money that is generating revenue it's rolling the making profit for the for anybody but the thing is again how to be the behavior let's see how about let's take example petro science we can see so much creativity right here and we put it on social media but the thing is we need a, a good platform a good way to channel it you know if we uh if you want to put like dr afi she loves data science but how do we want to understand the amazing thing about data science of uh being a, a, a professor in that thing how do we want to enjoy it is actually through us and we need a medium platform to to address it because right. I've been working for this a, a few times on STEM actually it was mm -hmm, actually mm -hmm. mentioning about how we could there's so many professor uh, professionals many doctorates they have so many to give but the thing is they do not know how to give it that's right. to this generation so that's something that we could actually uh, use this platform the data we can try to analyze predict I want to target because uh, again the tools we can target those kind of things towards everybody. Boost, I agree. Yes, That's something that. like we could look into more. Yep. Yeah. So we have come to the end of the forum today. Oh my God! Almost <laughs> Unfortunately, time. Seriously? time just flew by. So Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, well, on behalf of Petro Science, we would like to thank you, Anwar Afik, Welcome. and Dr. Afidelina. Thank you guys for taking the time to join us in this fruitful discussion and share your expertise, your knowledge on today's topic. With big Instagrammers come big data. So a big thanks to also you, our viewers. We hope that you've enjoyed this informative session and hopefully we can under, better understand big data and social media and its values. And, and for the questions that you guys asked, we'll address it right afterwards. Don't worry about it. We didn't forget about that. So yeah. before we wrap up, don't forget to follow PetraScience on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also visit our website at www petroscience.com.my for more fun STEM learning and activities. We hope to see you all again in the next PetroScience STEM Live session. Till then, take care and stay safe. Thank you guys for watching. Come to PetroScience, man. You'll enjoy.
<laughs> <laughs> Thank you.